While some kids in Yolo County are enjoying a rare warm day of sunshine in what's been a soggy gray winter, there's a young teen from Honduras who can only see that sunshine from behind the walls of the county juvenile detention center. This kid, um, he turned 14 in jail. At his age, he should be thinking about homework and friends. Uh, he should not be thinking about when, if ever, he won't be behind bars uh, for the quote unquote crime of uh, fleeing child abuse. Says Saunders works with a group called Indivisible YOLO. It's slightly democratic leaning, but aims to hold all politicians to a high standard through grassroots action. It's a group gearing up to rally in support of the young Honduran who's been known publicly only as GE. He played by the rules here. He was granted asylum by the federal government on January 10th. And so according to the rules of the federal government and the Office of Refugee Resettlement, what is supposed to happen is that the child uh, is then supposed to be put into foster care, uh, into the, the hands of Child Protective Services. And that didn't happen. According to lawyers and federal social workers handling GE's case, who Saunders has met with, no one seems to know exactly why. Details Saunders says he's been made privy to match published reports that the teen left his home in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, sometime last year, running away from horrible abuse. He made it to a Texas border crossing in March of 2016, totally alone. He has no family or friends in the U.S. We're told despair over his past prompted the teen to try and harm himself repeatedly, requiring him to be held in a locked facility. The juvenile detention center in Yolo County is one such place where that can happen. Beth Gabor, spokesperson for the county, could not comment on the case directly, but did send Fox 40 a statement which reads in part, quote, as we understand it, federal law requires the Office of Refugee Resettlement to continue to detain a child even after he or she is granted asylum until a suitable custodian can be located. ORR's obligation is to find a safe and appropriate placement for such a child that takes all of his or her social, behavioral, and mental health needs into consideration. For Saunders, a Bible professor at UC Davis, the only consideration should be this. Leviticus 19, it says that you shall not wrong the stranger or the immigrant. You, you shall love them as yourself, because remember that you yourselves were strangers in the land of